Okay, so on this video, we're going to be changing a water pump on a 2016 Mustang V6. There's two water pumps listed for this car, and this motor is the motor that has the three bolt water pump. So, as we get started here, we can get a couple things out of the way. Let's get the air cleaner out. Actually, just the uh, tube going to the intake, and uh, we can get right down and see the water pump. And you're going to want to take your belt off, and I'm not going to go into doing that because I would presume that if you're going to do this, you know how to take your belt off. Anyway, there's the water pump. Um, one bolt is out, there's three in there. So what I found out, this is the same motor that they used in the F-150 pickups from 2011, I believe, on. So just double check before you order it. Another thing that seems to be is the, there's a four bolt pulley water pump available. And supposedly, if you order that, it comes with a four bolt pulley. It'll fit into this application. So over here, here's a new water pump. Uh, one thing about this new water pump I noticed on the casting, uh, it's got a spot in here. It's crappy and it's disheartening to see, but there's a little bit of extra material in here that's loose, and we're going to get rid of that before we put it on. I don't need that to come loose and get lodged somewhere in one of the cooling passages. And then there's also some little nicks and dings around here that uh, need to be taken care of. Here's one here, I don't know if you can see it. See that one, you can see that one. This is fresh out of the box. So, we got a little, little dressing to do before we put it on. Here's a scratch your head engineering marvel. They put this thermostat housing mounted over the water pump so it all has to come off all the way up here to this intake stuff a lot of extra anyway got to leave it up to some of these engineering marvels they come up with okay so here's a shot with the thermostat housing off in the back side, you can see there's four bolts holding it on. And two O-ring surfaces. Once you get the water pump off, you want to make sure you clean these surfaces down here before you put the new gasket assembly the gasket on. Uh, you can see the black marking on there partly weighed around from the uh, old gasket. So that's all got to get cleaned off. I like to use a razor blade and green scotch bright to clean this off. Okay, we got the gasket surface all cleaned up. Looks good. Uh, one thing I wanted to say too is that fitting right there should get the o-ring for that and this one on the back of the thermostat housing my local auto parts store didn't have any so I'm going back together without them and hopefully I don't have to take this off again the reason why I'm changing the water pump I failed to mention earlier is because there's a leak somewhere and I don't know if it was one of these o-rings or the water pump but if it's an o-ring that's less of a job to take it back apart again so we'll see Okay, and here we are all back together. Very simple job. Just messy with antifreeze. All back together. Glued in it. Okay, one more thing on here. Um, I know I have it all back together now it's running. But the old water pump is adhered quite well with the gasket. So what you want to do is take a dead blow hammer and just tap it parallel to the face. And that'll unseat the seal and it'll come right off. But don't advise prying on it. Um, you could always crack something when you pry on it. It's not good. 
So get yourself a dead blow hammer and a couple taps and we'll break loose.